This is good. Uh, oh, see, see, see? A guy went out through the mo This is literally what I just yeah. talked yeah. about. Look, look, look. And the guy, is the guy is doing what you are doing, not watching it. Look, see? <laughs> he's hiding tickets. Yeah. Look, he's hiding. He's completely clueless that this can happen. And now... Oh. Oh, like, oh, oh, me, oh. I guess. <laughs> you, karma, bro. Karma for last round where you didn't watch it. Bro, I'm so happy it happened. I'm sorry that I'm happy for your loss. But <laughs> Hi. In today's video, my coach Phoenix and I go over a face it demo where I played connector on Mirage. This is a new position for me, so there was definitely a lot to go over. Subscribe if you want to see more coaching content. And by the way, I've been streaming on Twitch a little bit more than usual, so drop a follow, come say hi when I'm live. Thanks. Enjoy the video. Okay, that's not how you jump spot, by the way. Okay. <laughs> because uh, the way you jump spot, you're like, see, like you're stopping here. So you're all the time you're jumping, you're visible. See? Uh -huh. Like yeah. how you're uh, stopping here and going down. The way you should be jump spotting, you should be like visible for a moment. Okay. You, sh you should be visible for like a split second, and that moment you will see if there's anyone like out ramp. Okay. Wait, why didn't you buy an M4 actually? Uh, I wanted you to. Why you though? Um. Who cares about you on this level, honestly? <laughs> okay. Like no, no cap. Like okay. why? Why do you need you though? Like these people, they don't have like any structure, right? Yeah. Like, they're not gonna like execute properly on you, like do any strats or anything. Like I'm choosing M4 every single time, second round over over you Okay. And look at their economy. They have like two deagles. To Max, uh, Max 10 and MP5 and Galil, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like you can out aim those guys. You don't need Yudel to stop them. I don't even know if I end up using it. <laughs> I mean, you do, but the way you use it here, like it doesn't do anything. Like you're just mulling over this cubby, where they can still get out towards Tetris. Right. And you're fighting from stair switch. I mean, you don't have to do. It's not 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 wrong to do that, but the way you're fighting here, it's just you're staying too long, too long in the open instead of strafing mm -hmm. in and out. That is this mall is useless generally. You would be way better off just mulling palace here. Do you know why? Uh, so I don't have to look at it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean you, you're skipping it anyways for some yeah. reason. Like if there was only one palace, you're dead right now. I mean, not, not yet, but right now. Yep. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. You'd be better off mulling it. And now, for some reason, like, you shook your crosshair out of the guy. Like, look. Wait, I can't... Can't get used to these controls. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a it's oh. thing that... Okay. I can still see yeah. the crosshair, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. L l look how you, like, shook it off of the guy. Like, you... I mean, your cross replacement is a bit off as well yeah. uh, while picking it. Mm -hmm. But it, it will be interesting to see that. Look. What was that movement? I don't know. Did you see, the, did you see that little movement? Like, to yeah. the right? I don't, maybe it's just a, a, a way overcorrecting adjustment. Yeah, I mean, you overcorrected that yeah. a lot, so. MP9 here. Wait, what? Ooh. What's going on here? Why do you have 5-7? Because it seemed like everyone was bonusing and I wanted my money to be... Wait, what do you same? mean everyone's bonusing? You guys just fucking won the round and you're not buying full equipment. Like, this is not a thing. D did you not know that? Bonus round after winning second round is not a thing? Mm, no, not buying everything you can to win the round after uh, winning a round is not a thing. Okay. It's very simple. After you win the round, like you've never done this before, by the way. It never ever like I saw you do this, so I thought you know this. Every single round you win. Next round you need to buy everything you can to win the round. I thought there was like a special consideration for the third round. If you come out of that second round with most of your guns still, I thought it was like a, a thing where you can kind of try to conserve because they'll be on rifles now, and you'll still have your shitty. SMGs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah I mean? and then, and uh, yeah, and then what you mean with the SMGs? What do you do with the SMGs then? Oh, you try to win the round, but then, but no you matter, don't buy, no like, matter what, you'll you have mean, a full buy the next round. 
Yeah, so, so you mean like but not I died. buying... So, so, so you, I don't yeah, have you anything. Died. That, that's, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. But if you had an SMG, I wouldn't see a problem keeping it, right? Uh -huh. And uh, just playing an SMG. That would be a bonus, yeah. That's the bonus then. Like if you have SMGs uh, on the second round after you won the pistol, and then you keep the SMGs, and then you're trying some kind of aggro plays uh, versus the rifles, and you're trying something like cheeky, something gimmicky to win the round with the SMGs, so you save more money. Yeah, that that's called bonus round. As the same on T side, if you have like Mac tens and you just stay with the Mac tens and you rush B, for example, right? Yeah. Instead of buying Aegis. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. But so uh, there is no such thing as not buying uh, yourself because you see your teammates have SMGs, okay? Okay, sounds good. So yeah, uh, when your teammates have SMGs, you should just buy whatever you can. So M4 in okay. this case. And I mean, actually you can't afford an M4. Okay, what can you afford here? Yeah, I mean, you can buy an MP9 as well and full cavalry utility. Yeah, definitely there is no such thing as egoing because your teammates have SMGs and you're kind of thinking that you're losing this round and next round you will have full money. Okay. Plus, your teammates have enough money to actually drop your M4. If you, even if you don't have money next round, look at this guy for 5k. Yeah. yeah. Like this guy, if even if he like dies here for zero, he will still have money to buy, drop M4, buy M4 himself, and you'll be you'll be good to go. You know. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, a lot of people like actually I see make this mistake. They think like they need to buy with the team. You know. Yeah. And on full, like a lot of beginners do it. Like. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to buy with the team, uh, adjust the team's economy, and after you win a round, you're not buying fully. Like, every single round you win, just buy everything you can, you know? Okay. Uh, I mean, unless you're an opener and maybe you're saving right. for an yeah. opener. You know, then, yeah, for sure. Like, you can play a pistol second round. Nice shot here. Oh. Oh. I mean, here you're just running around the map. Nothing. Yeah, nice. Pretty good. Thank you. Okay, Molly ramp, that's perfect. I mean, generally, as a con player, it shouldn't be you mollying ramp. You should yeah, be focusing okay. on flashing mid. I mean, it can be either the A player or the con player, but the point is, if you're not playing with your with your teammates and you don't have good communication, right? You didn't know if this guy behind you is gonna flash mid. You should mm -hmm. be focusing on flashing mid. Do you know about flashing mid okay. like every single round? Yeah, to... I, I didn't do it once. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. But do you know about it? Sure, yeah. Flash like over where I threw the molly, but just over the thing so it'll blind the ooh, top ooh. mid players. Yeah, why didn't you do it then? I don't know. <laughs> just wasn't oh. thinking about it, I guess. Yeah, okay, so that's important for this guy, for example, right now that's dying in mid to not die because the enemies will be blind as he's speaking, right? If he dies, mm -hmm. then, well, he doesn't die because he goes back, so it's fine. I messed this up. I mean, that's nice try, but you should have just thrown it instead of going for it. Oh, and that's nice try as well. Yeah, before in CSGO it was a one-way, this kind of smoke. Yeah. Now, it's not a one-way, they can see you as much as you can see them. Right. Uh, but it's still a good smoke, so... Using it is definitely... Whoa, 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 no. Oh. Nice shot. Well, am I tripping or is your aim getting better? <laughs> like... Since last week? I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Since, since ever, like it's way better than it was. I have been deathmatching a lot. And you stopped, like, ADing. When I'm you're trying. An angle. I'm trying so hard to not do it. I wrote it down <laughs> after you told me to just write it down. I have uh, no AD spam, <laughs> no moving yeah. as reaction to seeing oh, an this enemy. Is, this, this is good, by the way, what you're doing right now. This is not an ID spam. Yeah. This is picking in and out, and right. you're ready to kill the guy if he's there. Maybe slightly too long periods of holding it, considering you have 8 HP. But, yeah, true. <laughs> but, but generally it's good. Maybe like you're holding it way too too long, you know, here, because yeah. 8 HP, like, come on, you need to kind of find the timing. But yeah, that looks good. Thing. 
This is shady. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. not really knowing what to do in this spot. I just wait. Don't really have to do anything. No. Oh. I mean, here the cross crop placement is slightly off, right? Oh, yeah, okay. So, so if you visualize how he's gonna be jumping into that window, especially that you heard him, like you have to have your crosser around the height of this white. Yes. No, I don't know. This is this is a door uh, that's next to the window. Right. Or this is like part of the window or whatever it is, like the the top mm -hmm. of this white thingy. That's, that's where his head is gonna be. I never like, even realized. Kill. Yeah, that's helpful. Um. So. You would want to be crossing, like, generally with uh, your knife out. Because, yeah, if they're rushing out, they're just gonna blind you anyways. Right, So, like, okay. holding it with a knife for it doesn't work in the middle of open. And, yeah, if there's an upper, like, peeking, that's also, like, better to jump across with a knife, your knife. Yeah, so. okay. And here you're faster in con when you have your knife out. So, so the only, right. there are only benefits of holding your knife when you're crossing there. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, there is no need to take note for taking out your nade like when you're on top stairs. You should yeah. be just picking you should be just picking it. You should not be taking out your nade. <laughs> yeah, I remember at the time I was like, oh no, why am I doing this? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it's 4v3 and you're picking pretty aggressively. Yeah. Don't see I don't see a lot of wrong with it. Oh, is this the smoke I showed you? Oh, nope. Def oh, yeah, actually, maybe. I think so. Just on the fly. Yeah. It went deep for some reason. It's not supposed to, but it's okay. Hey, look, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this this is good. This is what you're supposed to be doing here in con, playing around the the con smoke, trying to find kills behind it. Is this uh, a good way to throw it? It's fine, but okay. you're super unaware of under as well. I don't know why. Yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> um, like you still don't remember about under. Like yeah. there could be some. Maybe it's just not common in your games that people go here. Oh, def that night definitely is not good. Okay. Yeah, as you can see how it bounced, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Only if he's standing completely in the open. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That is not a good flash. They can see it from miles away. The other thing is they know that you're stairs. And yeah, it, it, it just flies too long yeah. you know, in the air. I think I was moving there. I think so too. I did. Fine. I did uh, dink him, but you were moving with S, the S of Doom. <laughs> Look at this S. Oh no no S. no! No wonder your first bullet went almost into palace <laughs> if you didn't shit. even counter strafe, right? So. Oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the S, the S strafe. You have to counter strafe with W yes. then. Yes. But uh, no one likes to do that, so I wouldn't hit it as well if I was moving with yeah. us. That's why I don't move with us. Okay, so that's one one lost kill due to unnecessary movement. Yeah. I mean, the angle was shit as well. Like, if you have the angle, like, if you're standing, like, very close to stairs, that's mm -hmm. probably worse than if you're standing, like, further away towards the, co uh, the cone wall, you know? Okay. If you're holding the A cross, like you're more visible, I will show you in, in, later on. But you Sounds want to good. be standing towards to, more towards con and jungle than yeah. close to under stairs. If you're picking from under stairs. Okay. Here I see that I don't have anybody. Yeah, you with me. you never want to do something like this where you take out your knife and you turn around from the angle like uh, this. Damn. What you're doing right now. Yeah. Like you never want to do something like this. Like. Like, they can be running through the molly and killing you. They can right, be running out yeah. palace and killing you. Like, th this moments of holding your knife in your hand, this is pointless. 
Okay. The guy could be out Tetris right now, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. If he ran for the Moy, and he wouldn't take that much damage, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe he would be like 50 HP out Tetris, and you don't know about him. And now he could be sneaking Sandwich. Right now he could be sneaking Sandwich. Right now he would be already like Firebox. And yeah, you know, you wanna, he would could have killed your teammates or yeah. sneaked into jungle. That is like a this great shit, point. This shit happens. This shit happens in my games, you know. Someone runs out ramp Moy. And unnoticed, he sneaks out somewhere. You know, this this can happen. It's, yeah. it's random, but but it's possible. So throwing a defensive smoke. No, this is not working anymore, by the way. As you you noticed probably yourself. It's very big. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm lost, but I do end up getting a couple points here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think. How do they not expect you going for that smoke? Okay, I understand this standing here. I understand that, but mm -hmm. then going through that smoke and then them completely not looking here. That's interesting. I mean, good play. You surprise them. I would go out of the smoke with a flash for my teammate, but apparently you can get away with going out through that without any flashes and no one's holding the smoke. <laughs> I don't know what what were they holding, if not the smoke. But good job. I like the spray transfer. It was like pretty calm as well. Thank you. This is good. Uh, oh, see, see, see? A guy went out through the mo This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I, I, died. I died to this guy. Th this is literally what I just yeah. talked <laughs> yeah. about. Look, look, look. And the guy, is the guy is doing what you are doing, not watching it. Look, see? <laughs> he's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> look, he's hiding. He's completely <laughs> clueless that this can happen. And now... Oh. Oh, like, oh, oh, fuck oh, me, oh. I guess. <laughs> you, karma, bro. Karma for last round where you didn't watch it. Yes, karma. Bro, I'm so happy it happened. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm happy for your loss. But <laughs> <laughs> As you can see. I'm happy yeah. for your loss. That's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I said I'm sorry I'm happy for your love. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I deserve it. And I should know because I like doing that sometimes. What, going out to the, of the molly? Yeah, the just, thing? yeah. No, oh, he's doing it again. <laughs> it worked. But now he's gonna die, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Nice, nice. And this is a better angle than you were holding before yeah. under stairs. Further away, that's what I was talking about. Towards con, you know, this is just just better basically. Okay. The, the reason is also like the closer you are to angles, the more more your model ex is exposed right. to for them to see you before you see them. You know. Yes. So so here the angle is fair if they're peeking under wood like or mid of. Oh, if they're just peeking that angle, you have like a fair fight. Where when you were close to stairs, you. Your model was visible slightly mm -hmm. faster. Oh, right, right now, like if he's peeking from under stairs, he will see your model like slightly quicker. Yeah, I think here I was just trying to play like the edge of the smoke. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'm just explaining. Makes sense. Fine. Kind of like cross replacement of, I think. I mean, this is okay. Ooh, a little too high, okay. or no, is no, that okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, but now, like, look. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. that's not good. <laughs> like, I noticed I had an inkling that it's something wrong, but I just had to see it again. Yeah. So, wait, when the, if there's a guy at the bottom of ramp. Where yeah. where will his head be? Uh, like so, you're peeking on a headshot angle, so you just need to peek. Uh, you just need to have your crosshair, um, like above this box that's right. okay. in front, that is in front of you. Because you, if you think about it, they can see only your head, so you can see their heads only as well. So mm -hmm. it means you just need to aim slightly above the texture. Okay, makes sense. That, yeah. Double mollies now. Oh no no no! This this night definitely not good. Okay. 
They just made it into the molly. They're not gonna be standing there. Yeah. This is a good good play. I unfortunately didn't get any kills, but mm -hmm. generally like playing behind that smoke is good. Yeah. Oh they fucked it up. No 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 no. If they fuck it up, you just need to peek without flashing. Now you're telling them I low I'm window. But Wait. before that you didn't Why see should that? I peek it without flashing if they mess up the Molly? Because they think it's Molly or oh, they don't understand that yeah. you understand that they missed okay. it. Okay. Like for a moment they will think it's Molly, like for a split second, right. of course they will need to like they will need to check if it's like actually burning, but for a moment this guy who just threw a molly with will think he just mollied it, you know? Of course they will realize after like a second or two mm -hmm. that it's not mollied, but you have that split second of a timing that That's a great point. You can use yeah, like right really now it it started burning and they think like oh molly window, yes? So right <laughs> now you have a split second of timing where you can see it's shit and you can just peek behind it. Wow. Right now, yeah. right now the timing ended. <laughs> if right. you pick now, it's over. But if you picked instantly after the bear, the flame like came up, you know. Yes. Like you saw, you saw the flame like doing the fire thingy. Uh, like if you picked instantly behind it, it would be like easy kills. Okay. Good point. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> this guy. What so is like, this guy okay, doing? Okay, not, not peeking that. <laughs> Super, suppressing fire, man. <laughs> yeah. Battlefield. <laughs> What the hell? He's still spraying. He didn't stop. Ah, he gave up. I think it just ends up being B here. It's been a while since I've rewatched that one. I totally messed up that smoke. I think you're moving here because you weren't confident of holding the angle. Okay, and now just stay here and hold the angle right mm. now. You don't need to go any further. W. And you started moving to the left when you were shooting. But it's okay, it happens yeah. to anyone. Okay. This is pretty hectic situation as well, but it's fine. I mean, your teammates already pushed for mm -hmm. and you're and you're clearing it. I think I was like, oh wait, he's already through. No. Oh wait, you're coming back to hold palace. I mean, you don't need to be stairs to hold palace. Also, the problem is like you're looking in the middle of the smoke, right? For a moment here. Yeah, because I was like, oh, like well, he could he could walk out at any part of it. Why? So... Why at any part of it? Cause like he could walk out through the left edge, or he could walk out in the middle and come through. Why would he walk out through the left edge? I don't know. To be surprising. They're not to be not surprising, really. but just to like no, peek it's... out of the edge of the smoke instead of. No, just you the... can't peek at the edge of the smoke like that. I will show you in a second. Okay. Okay, time to go for a quick. So so I have it like clear in my mind. Where's this? When there is a smoke here, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna walk out like that out of the smoke? Like, on this line more, more likely? Or are you gonna Probably walk the back out like, part. Uh, the back part and yeah. then like try to sneak out around it? Yeah. And kind of like peek around it, you know? Mm -hmm. no, not here, you don't wanna be walking out here because that, like, imagine the smoke is kind of like shit, right? For example. Yeah. And you wanna walk around it and kind of peek first this and then like peek around it and peek like this. If you walk out like that, like you're instantly exposed to everything. Yeah. Th that's what I mean. So nobody like walks yeah. around like that. If the, if you wanna jump out, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're like getting flashed out, right? It's a Nico, mm -hmm. and they're just jumping out. Yeah, sure. Okay. Like that, that, that's fine. But it wasn't a Nico. It's a full buy. So someone will be sneaking out. Same with any smoke. Like let's say the ramp smoke, right? Like obviously people will not be coming through like this. I mean maybe they will, but it's stupid. They will, they will be sh they should be running out on the right, right? So they mm -hmm. can kind of. Like clear the angles like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So it's better, better to go around the smoke. Mm. Now for the jump spotting part. Like this is how you should be jump spotting. Oh, I kind of blocked the texture. Okay. So you're visible for the least amount of time right. possible, right? Mm -hmm. Not like this. 
Yeah. Okay. I can definitely see the difference. Same on B, actually. Like, would you, would you, would you like to jump jump spot like this, or would you rather jump spot like this? Hmm. That what way. is easier to hit, right? Yeah. Like, no, you don't want to jump spot <laughs> being exposed like that. Uh, and then this kind of angle, like, if you're like that, you're way more like exposed. Like, they can see you way quicker because you're close to this texture. Right. But if you're like this. Like you're kind of cutting the angle and you're further away from it, which CSGO physics give you like more advantage. Mm -hmm. The way kind of I want to explain it is the closer you are to walls, the if I stay like this, for example, like I'm visible to palace, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, you're visible even like though you can't see. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the further away I stay, the more uh fair the angle is for mm -hmm. me when it comes to model visibility. Right. And then like stairs angle peaking, like you should be peaking with your cross around here. I see. So this right. is what you will see the head, right? And mm -hmm. one uh, good tip is like, if you actually crouch here, do you know they cannot see your head? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, and you can go like crouch to the right side and now peek from the right side, you know? Oh, cool. If an opera is holding this, right? And uh, a lot of good operas are holding this thing. Uh, and you just wide swing, you're dead, right? Like. Yeah, definitely. You're just wide swinging, you're dead. So I don't recommend it swinging like always like that. But sometimes you can just crouch and then stand up and kind of pick the over from an off angle. Cool. Um, when it comes to playing con, like you should be flashing mid every single round, probably for your teammate. Oh, let me find. So this is how you will be flashing, just above the tower here. Okay. So the flash pops like that and blinds people that are trying to pick your teammate in the window. Of course, you can flash always like above con as well, like that. Pretty similar. Just point is the flash needs to pop around there and blind people that are running out. Okay. And trying to kill the window player. And uh, you should switch around with the A player when it comes to molotoving and flashing. So sometimes, for example, you won't have a flash, so you tell the A player, "Can you flash mid? I'll molly ramp for you." Right? Yeah. Um, if you if you're like going uh, going con and you, your teammate is flashing, it's sometimes good to molly and jump across if you don't see the upper because you know people can boost on this shadow right yeah yeah and the upper can stand like this and hold the angle mm -hmm. if you don't see the upper jumping across it's pretty good to nade deep so you just jump across you don't see anyone you just line up the nade and just nade here really quickly oh nice okay and that's pretty that annoying useful. and from yeah. Fr yeah what i saw from your demo People are standing there a lot when okay. ramp was mollied, so it would be pretty useful. And you, you might want to rewatch this and see that you're, you'll be doing a lot more damage uh, with the nades if you cool. if you nade that consistently. Now, but also wasting a nade like that might be a bit useless because you can use it to break the con smoke, right? Right. To kill people under con. Now, using this con smoke, first of all, you should uh, not use it every single round. You should kind of play of information. I mean, in parks, the information might be a bit shit and you might be wanting to use it every single round regardless of the info. But if you keep playing with better and better players, this window player should give you info what's going on on mid, right? Mm -hmm. If he tells you nothing mid, right, obviously don't use the smoke because why would you use it? It's pointless. It do doesn't give you a one way anyways, so you, you might as well hold top mid like this instead right. of throwing a smoke. Before it gave a bit of a one way, so yeah, you'd throw it regardless, but... But now it doesn't matter, so you don't throw it. Now if this guy tells you there is a lot of going on on mid, for example, they smoke team window and he cannot help, right? Mm -hmm. Then yeah, of course, drop the smoke instantly. Just bounce it off here and it will be fine. I remember you wanted to right click it. It's just okay if you just walk forward like one step, walk forward and throw it and it will be fine. And yeah, with this smoke you can do many things. You can just hold cat. Here is a pretty good angle to hold cat. Mm. Just next to the box. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm, you can break it. A and pick top mid and try to get a cheeky kill here. You, you can uh, flash through it as well. Flashbang. You know, if there is a smoke here, you, you might throw it a bit like closer to con if you want to flash through it in that round. So you just bounce it off closer to con, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just. Pop a right-click flat through it. 
Nice. If you get like two kills and you go back. There's a pretty common play where people flash for, for each other. So the guy from Firebox will flash like this. And this guy will just run out cone and well, a bit more further, I guess. Yep. Like flash like this, your teammate will throw for you. And you're just running out cone trying to get one or two kills and going back into the smoke. Nice. Picking under definitely is something you should be doing. So uh, you can hold under kind of from above here, or you can just run out here and peek towards under, you know? Yes, okay. That's something good to do. And then holding this angle that you were already doing is, is pretty fine as well. Um, it's good to especially counter people that are rushing fast out mid. If it happens, people are like flashing here. And just running fast mid, you know, it's pretty mm -hmm. good to go around the smoke and you will hear the steps, you know, maybe you'll catch them off, like, close to cone. Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there is also, like, angles, new angles on top of the bench. If you go on top oh, of the that's, bench. That's you, pretty good. You will see, like, above the smoke, yeah, right? Depends wow. how this, depending how the smoke pops as well. Like, sometimes it will give you a, mm -hmm. a little... A cool one. Up here. Okay. So it's crucial to use the smoke and uh, make different variations of your play. Sometimes be aggro, sometimes be passive. Obviously, versus ecos, be more passive. Versus full buys, switch it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then peak stairs sometimes. Of course, mulling, uh, mulling palace is way better than just smoking it because you can pretty freely like peak. And really dial in that cross core placement. It should yeah. be like perfect. If you're picking like it should be like this, right? Right. And I say, ah, helping the guy A. Sometimes like the guy A will be executed on, right? Mm -hmm. And you need to know what to do here when there's uh, execute coming in. Like when there, there are smokes popping. Like smoke stairs, smoke jungle, smoke city, right? Mm -hmm. Your guy is isolated. So there is a couple things you can do. Uh, of course, you can break the smoke. Try to. Try to help your teammate. You can also just throw another smoke in front of it if you haven't used your smoke con, and Walk just create it. some more. Yeah, clear. Yeah. Create some more ang angles for yourself, and try to help this guy uh, on A to defend. You can flash above him, so you can flash above just behind him like this. Right, it will help him if he's default. Mm -hmm. You can flash like if he's CT, like ticket, right? Mm -hmm. You can just flash in front of CT. So just here. Just tell them flashing in front of your CT. If you just throw a flash like that, everybody that's looking at CT is blind. One good play that you can do also, that is very old meta, but it's still working. If you want to help your teammate, you just bounce this flash like this. Oh yeah, I've seen this in videos. I always forget to try it. Oh, this and then pop into the sandwich? The flash is coming through the smokes, oh. so they don't see it, right? Because if you cool. don't have smoke there and you throw a flash like this, like you threw, right? Yeah. They, they see it, like they see it coming. <laughs> it pops like all the way here, right? Mm -hmm. But if you bounce the flash like that and there is a smoke stairs, and you just pop a flash, wait for it to pop, and then you go sandwich. Yeah, that's how you counter the, the ape executes. Generally, you will have util when they're executing A because uh, a lot of the times it's very easy to spot out if it's fake or if it's actually mid control. Uh, default so if it's a fake it maybe there will be like for example only smoke top mid and no one coming out so your window player will tell you it's very very common for the window player now what he should be doing if there is a smoke like top mid he should be just breaking it oh, and now okay. you know if it's a fake or not right right if no one's coming out yeah i guess i had a question like relating to that um especially since i've been playing with friends more it's like the way that the window connector and cat players should be working together. So before that, the meta was like this, that you were re-smoking con all the time mm -hmm. for this con player. And this con player was just blocking blocking the entry of the smoke and just holding the, the con area. And the cat player is just helping him by holding cat for him. Mm -hmm. And the window player should probably be rotating towards tickets if he smoked off or just staying in window. So the way that you guys should work together is uh, depending if you want to play aggro or passive, okay? As I told you, the cut player should be aggro all the time. Mm -hmm. So right. his teammates need to help him as well. So the window player is obviously going to fight mid. If he sees the smoke top mid, he will try to cancel it, right? 
the console with an 8, of course. And then molly boxes. That should be the default reaction. The guy uh, under, if the guy cut is fighting mid, the guy under can clear like uh, the guy. Sorry, the guy can can clear out under. So you can just clear out under. There is a pretty cool pop flash here. Oh wow, that's awesome. Yeah. You can poach like, uh, like this, that they can clear out under with. Or you can just hold under for your teammates, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this window player needs to molly behind boxes, the cut player just fighting, the con player just going out, out and about. And you guys are uh, cooperating together to clear out mid. If the box is mollied by window player or cut player, the con player has a lot of freedom here because they're gonna be standing around here. Um, yeah, that's about it. So cool. this is aggro, and if it's passive, then the window player will generally rotate to ticket, and he will now he's ticket, right? But he would probably like to do something like this from ticket, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe hold ramp. So the pretty common setup is the ticket player will just hold ramp. The A player will stand on top of palace and hold palace. The reason he can take those kind of weird off angles is because his upper is holding ramp for him. Right. And then the cone player will take the, the job of the window player and will hold both cone and window boost. Okay. Th that's a strong setup. Is there a good flash for, say, I'm in a position to want to peek window um, in the mid round? Like this kind of flash could be good. That's crazy. <laughs> or there should be some flashes like. That seems good. Yeah, right, this kind of cool. flashes work, but uh, the best flash is thrown by your teammates, obviously. Because these right. ones just, they can just hear it and they're not the best. The best one is just from A, you know, or from Cat. Like flash mid for me, flashing. The flash pops, you're peeking, everybody's blind, you know. Okay. Or from Cat. Can you flash mid? Yes, flash mid. Boom. Like these flashes are the best. The, the soft pop flashes are not the greatest, to be honest. Okay. And I would not recommend them if you can, if you have choice between flashing, being flashed by your teammate or getting flashed by your teammate or self flashing. Like I would recommend your teammate flashing for you every single time. All right. Okay. What do you think we didn't cover yet on Incon? Because I have something in mind, but I'm kind of waiting for you to ask for it. I guess just like f focusing my attention between mid and A, like. If they're not out mid, like you just go A. Okay. Um, but, okay, pushing pushing top mid. Nah, that something shouldn't happen that much. <laughs> okay, then yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, rotating. Oh right. So what do you do when they go out B right now? What do you think? Um, well, I could either go out connector and then up cat. I could go back through spawn. Well, I could try to do a window jump. Through spawn? No, 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 no. I mean, generally, your job, just as if you're a cat player and you're rotating A and clearing out lurks, mm -hmm. is the same. You just need to clear out lurks. So you're gonna clear out mid, clear out under, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can, yeah, you can jump uh, towards cat. Like, I tried to flex here <laughs> with my great movement in CS2. But it's terrible. And, uh, yeah. You, you go you can retake for cat or if you don't feel like m doing movement like you just clear out under of course and then you can be very conscious cautious of top mid even clear out boxes and shit and then ju just join cat right mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing as a con player very rarely you want to be rotating for kitchen to be honest okay like very rarely because already your window player will be probably rotating through there because i don't see an oper to who's like um jumping around here yeah. <laughs> i mean if your oper is like in window yeah and he's mm -hmm. called like b rush b rush b rush you know and if he's jumping like fast cut your oper is like jumping mm -hmm. and he's quick short here right i don't see a problem for you to rotate for kitchen then okay but that's probably the only time 
Or you might even push towards under, you know, and go behind oh, them. That's yeah, also true. what you can do. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it when it comes to rotations. So okay, that will be the con. Con player wrapped up. I think I'm not sure. Do you have any questions or specific scenarios that happen in your games in your level that you're not sure about? Because in this game, it was pretty. Yeah, I do like to jump out window and go under. Is that? A kind of a troll oh, yeah. thing if I'm the connector player, or is that no? Cool if you're the connector player, you're perfectly fine starting okay, con from mid, so you're perfectly fine starting window if you have spawn for it. Maybe just even nading top man and just like playing in under. You, you can't play in under because you're still holding con, you know, just right. the A player needs to know his soul, right? Mm. You can play in under, you can even hide here. Yeah, generally pushing under, probably not the best idea as the con player because you're leaving out A completely alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, but playing in under and just chilling here, betting on the fact that they're not gonna come and you have like a jump on them from bottom bottom con here. Right. Yeah, that, that's a good play. Or just right. overall like, you know, starting through through window, just jumping out and just going con and g grabbing that information early if they're running out or not. I, I like this nade a lot. Always oh, deals, deals a lot of damage. Just throwing it like top mid. Nice. And slowing down anyone that's. F fully swinging, right? Yeah. So you discourage them from swinging. Yeah, it seems really good. It seems like I'll have to practice that a little bit. Yeah, you wanna just jump on the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. and when you're on this ledge, you're aiming like ridiculously high, and then you're. Nice. Okay, cool. Thinking what else? You should know. Oh, maybe like a pistol. Actually, pistol. What do you do in pistols? Well, pistol rounds. In my opinion, there is no point to play con. It's just too close range angles. You should be playing some kind of stack with your team. Maybe like if your teammate is playing A, you can play Sandwich, Underwood, your teammate Ticket is a good base setup. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there's no like no really point to, to play in con. It's not like the people with Glocks are gonna like take mid control and then go back to A or yeah. you know, they're gonna like play <laughs> default. Mm, not not gonna happen. Maybe there there is some strats where people are rushing you con or they're rushing under to con, but then it's still mm -hmm. better to be in this long range angles, like for example, ticket or under shadow, right? Instead of being close con to them. Right. Okay. And then on force buys, I like to like play Beagle here. Just search for these kills, right? Mm -hmm. Search for these hatchet angles with the Beagle. Um, you can, if you want, go palace as you did before and just play on top of Wood. Generally, as a con player, sometimes you can just say, I'm not playing con this round and start on A, right? Oh, yeah, I did want to ask you about that. Like the situations where maybe I should also play on A with my teammate. Whenever you want to surprise them. Okay. I saw Crims uh, from Fnatic doing, as a con player doing a play like this. So he would be mulling ramp. And just casually, once in a while, he would just go here and play behind the molly. And then after the molly is finished, he would just go up and play here. As the connector player. Wow. Okay. So the A player, uh, the A player is still still on A, right? Still playing A. Maybe he's more like uh, more conscious conscious towards like you know towards con because mm -hmm. you're obviously in ramp, but he's still here playing on A. So yeah, sometimes like yeah, you can just start on on A. Uh, actually, a play that I like a lot uh, versus. Uh, Full buy when I have low money. It's like buying a nade and uh, a smoke and deagle and small Kevlar. And I'm just gonna nade a ramp like this. Go here, start walking, go up. I'm gonna bounce my smoke like this. So I make sure that it bounced like, fi like five times or something. And I'm just gonna stand in the smoke. And this guy, he hears the smoke bounce so many times and he thinks like, oh, probably smoke's from stairs, right? And then I'm gonna stand in the smoke here and wait for it to fade and try to kill the guy who's uh, playing mm, Palace, right? Very sneaky, okay. The big part of it is like nobody spams the smoke Palace because right. they don't want to re they don't want to reveal that they're in Palace because yeah. then they're then they're done, you know? The lurk is done then. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a good use of uh, knowledge that no one nobody will be spamming the I'm gonna try the that one. Nice. Yeah.
Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed this fairly lengthy and detailed look at how to play Connector on Mirage. Like I said at the start of the video, I don't have much experience playing this position, but I figured given how much Mirage is picked in CS, uh, it would be good to, to kind of get versatile in the spots I could play. Unfortunately, or fortunately, maybe if you love Mirage, the next video is also going to be Mirage focused, kind of a more overarching look on what I've learned since this series has started. And then after that, don't worry, we're going to a new map, I promise. All right, see you in the next one.